In this exercise, we're going to be using a double linked list uh, to store details about a European city tour. Uh, we're going to be doing that with tests, and we're going to be doing that in Ruby. All right, so let's go ahead and create our directory here. Let's call it uh, double linked list European tour city tour. Okay, let's cd into that. All right. So let's start off with a split panel. Let's have our uh, test right off the bat using our spec. So I've got our spec file right here. So let's do whoops, let's do the minimum we can do to actually just get it running, just make sure we can run tests. So that's about that. So let's save and run that. Uh, let's try and make it fail. So let's run that. Actually that that wasn't an expectation, so I need to put it as an expectation. So it's a bit true to be false. That will actually fail. So let's run that. Okay. All right. Well, we could fix that, but what we actually want is some code. So let's start putting some thinking about some code here. What do we actually want to expect? So we want. Well, this is a tour. So let's just ask for our tour to exist. Let's get rid of that. And um, obviously, we're going to need to create it. So let's set it up uh, for it. We're going to use it in every example, so we'll use our before each, shorthand before do. Um, okay, so that, save that, run that. Tour. Okay, well, the whole point of this is we need a, a class tour to exist. And we're just going to put it in the spec code for right now for this exercise. So just give it that signature, actually makes it pass. And. Alright, so we've got a tour. So let's think about what we want the tour. Well, we want the tour to have a list of countries. A um, list of cities and countries. So we're going by cities, so that's what we want. So we have to set that up. Uh, we want our tour. We're going to put the uh, we're going to put the cities inside the tour. So we want um, we want to go through those. We we'll go through each city, and we we'll have to set up our uh, actual city names first. That's going to be an array. We're going to be we're going to be grabbing all these cities and putting them in this array, or well, grabbing the city names that is, putting them in this array. So we actually need um, we're going to have this array in tour called cities. So here's a getter and setter for that, and um, let's just run that. And it hasn't been actually been set because we need to initialize. We'll add that and this, add that, um, and we need our actual cities to be defined. So let's let's uh, let's create a variable for those. We're going to be using those in every in every case. So. Um, there's a few attributes to it, so let's do an actual city. It's going to be a class we're going to need. So we'll do a new a new city each time, and it's going to tell us, you know, that's still nil. Okay, so this is where we need our city class. So let's set that up. And that's going to have a few attributes. We were told that it's actually going to have a name, um, a population, an area, um, which we'll call size. And um, because this is our actual tour, there's going to be like the next city, uh, and there's going to be the previous city. So those are going to be our attributes. So that's and we're going to need to set. We create. Okay, so we're going to need to set all those attributes. So let's pass them in. So first one, let's do London populations ten million using the Ruby underscore for the separator there. We'll go with size. We'll just give it a string, a hundred square kilometers, miles in England. Next after London would be Paris, and there is no previous. So that's our first city. And hang with, with me here. I've got to do a little bit of typing here. So the next one's going to be 
what we saw in the line above is going to be Paris. So let's try and copy and paste a little bit to speed it up. So Paris population, we're going to make totally make this up as we did with London. I have no idea what the population of these cities is. We'll call it 9 million just for this exercise. And we'll say that it's 80 square kilometers. After Paris, we're going to Frankfurt, Germany. And we previous city was London. That's because this is a double link list that we're storing that. Um, a single we wouldn't. All right, so next we go to Frankfurt. We'll make up that this population is 8 million at 60 square kilometers. And next after that will be uh, Berlin. Uh, before it was Paris. Got a little bit of a pattern going here. So now we do Berlin. Make up its population to be 7 million. Use our handy underscore. Smaller, keep going smaller, 40 square kilometers. Came from. Uh, and the next one, sorry, the next one was Moscow, and we came from Frankfurt. And then finally, our final one is Moscow. We'll say that it has 6 million. We'll say it's huge. We'll make up a big size for it 300 square kilometers. Uh, we came from Frankfurt. Uh, no, uh, Berlin, sorry. And. Uh, So let's set this up. All right. And so is, oh, we missed our commas out on all of these. <laughs> so let's add all of those. Okay. All right. So we need to actually initialize stuff, all of these uh, attributes. So as our initialize method, we're going to pass. Uh, as you can see, on line 13 to 17, we're going to pass all of those attributes in. And we're going to do our fairly typical set instance array, set instance, uh, sorry, variable attribute. Okay, to be those that we passed in. So name, population, size, size, next city, fix my typo. And previous city, prep city. Okay, that's all of those. All right, save that. And the passes, nice. All right, so the tour is listed cities to tour. We've made that the tour exists, but we haven't really checked. <coughs> I haven't done much of an expectation there because that was what we did. In the first example, so let's let's get a bit a little bit more uh, ambitious with our expectation here. And let's say that the tours. This is what we were doing with the city names just there. The city names we've accumulated uh, is London, Paris, Frankfurt, Berlin, uh, and Moscow. So put the co on there for that symbol. And okay, city names. I think that's right. Yes. All right. So that's good. We can get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Okay. All right. So next example. Um, let's see. Let's take this. So we've got a list of cities. Um, yeah, let's look at some of those attributes. The name, like the name and the population, say, of the first city. Let's just make sure that they're getting... Uh, Set correctly, so we're gonna do our uh, our first city is going to grab that uh, out of that array, the first element, which is the zeroth element, and we expect that to be London. It's named to be London. Okay. And let's also make sure that the population got set correctly. Ten million. And we'll, that'll be enough for right now. Let's just run that. Okay, that's good. All right. And uh, next example. So let's say it knows about the name of the population. What about this whole linked list thing? Can tell me about the next city's name. That next that we set up. So let's. Uh, Let's again set up the first city to be. Let's grab that out of the array. I'll try this up in a minute, perhaps. But our next city is going to be that records um, next city. 
Uh, do we have to get the name off? I think we can actually just do next city. I expect the next. Oh, here we can do the next city. We can we do the expectation that it's going to be Paris. Okay. All right, let's run that. Okay, that was good. Uh, make sure it fails. Got a lot of passing tests here. Okay. <laughs> Let's make sure it was uh, not getting a false positive. All right. So that's good. So that's the next city's name for a given city. So what about uh, for a uh, given city like Moscow? What's the previous? What's the previous city? Let's see if spell that correctly. Uh, Moscow. All right, so set it up the same. Well, actually, this time we want to say what what's the specific entry for Moscow. So we just grab that out of cities. We can use our nice little rubies uh, select, and that's the city name. And we want to say where the city name is. Sorry, city. It's the city dot name. Is equal to double equals Moscow. All right, I think that's good. So close brace. So that's our entry we want to work with. It's actually the we want the first element out of that array. All right. Now, let's just no, we're not going to expect We want the previous. City, so it's Moscow's entry dot prep city. So that should be good, and we should expect that previous city is. Uh, let me just check. I think it's Frankfurt. Is it Frankfurt or is it Berlin? It's actually Berlin. Yeah. All right. Okay. Get rid of those. And run that. Okay, that passed. So that's working correctly. Let's clean that up. Okay. Alright, so let's do another example now. And what else can we do? We could say, what's the population? Let's just check that attribute of the city before Berlin. Just to make sure that this is working as intended, got populated as intended, and that it's usable. So we'll say the city um, that we want in this case is where the city name is Berlin. So that's our starting point. So the first element of that array and population of the city before. So the previous city um, is going to be the Prev city, okay, and then um, yeah, we want to for the entry that we got, we want to get uh, we want to get that specific city where the city where its where its name previous city name is equal to the city dot name out of all of the cities. All right. And have an expectation the previous city. Um, let's check the this is it was supposed to check the population. That was the point of this test. So that for Berlin was the uh, was the 8 million. All right. I think that's good. 8 million. Actually, no. Uh, okay. That is not right because I didn't end that correctly. Run this. Um, hmm, that's. Okay, like that. Okay, run. Oh, jeez. Hold on. There. Okay. Alright. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. It's not a symbol when I'm using a number like that. Sorry. Alright. 
So I was able to tell you the population of the city before Berlin. So now let's get really ambitious with our little linked list here, and let's actually insert a new city. So we'll say between London and Paris, we're gonna actually going to go to Dover. Something I did once. And we're going to add that to the route. So we're going to fiddle around a little bit. We've got our existing set of things that are linked together, and we're going to insert something into them. It's like after London and before Paris. So um, I'm not worried about drying stuff up right now for things like creating a tour and stuff, uh, other than creating a tour. So we can start right off with our tour, and we can say, I mean, this is what we want to do. We want to insert something after London um, that's called Dover. That's all we really need to tell it. And then there should be, let's just start off with a simple expectation that there should be six cities after doing that, because we had five before. So let's run that. Well, actually, we just said insert after, so it would fail. And then we know we're going to need this method called insert after. We pass, okay. All right, and we pass in. Um, the city to add after and this city that we're adding city name that we're adding all right so the new city name all right so let's see so we want to grab the city we're adding it after so that's going to be looking at the city's array within this tool and let's see Gonna wanna actually set it up. When we set it, <laughs> we didn't do this. We just created the cities, but we didn't actually put them here in the tool. So now, with our app for our attribute for our array cities, we're actually gonna set it up. Let's see what should it be. So it's these cities. We're gonna actually steal that and actually just pass it in here. All right, so that would set those up. Yep. Okay, so let's run that. Oops, uh, my structure's wrong. What am I missing? Is it down here? Mm, I think it's. Further at the top. Uh, it's not that. Oh, wait a minute. Line eight, nine. I'm missing. No, sorry, five. I'm missing the end. All right. All right. Okay. The structure was right, but oh well. Yeah, my initial exact my initial setup here. Now we're passing in cities. I actually have to. Take that out there. I did six and got five, so didn't seem like it added it. Uh, oh, we still haven't finished this. Okay, so a bit distracted there. All right, so the add after is our cities. So let's, let's grab our city. We're adding the city after. Um, so we've, we've passed in our new city name. Um, and our uh, sorry city to add after so we're going to find that, that like before record that we want okay get the uh, first element of that array okay so For that one that we selected, uh, for our add after, its current next city, the city it's going to next time after that city, is that add after's next city. We're going to save that. And um, I'm going to set the uh, hold on. next and the current next city. I'm actually going to grab the name here. It's a little bit clumsy, but grab the name with the name equals current next. Next. Okay. So grab that. Put my end braces in there. A little bit tricky to spot them. All right. Now, um, well, the current, next, previous. 
wording is really crazy here. Um, the current next cities, previous city, uh, becomes this new city name. Um, and that first uh, add after next city al also becomes this new city name. So that's this one's the add after's next, and the current next city's previous. Those terrible names. But that should do it. And um, we didn't actually create a city in doing those, we just put the names in. So we're going to go ahead right now and actually create uh, that new city. We're just going to give it some quick things to make it pass for its population, its, its size. Um, and its next is this current next, and its previous is this add after dot name. Okay, so we're going to add that in, that new city that we've added. And structurally, we're missing something here. Uh, actually, oh, there. Yep, okay. And that made it pass. All right, and I don't think we actually need that, so we can get rid of that. Is good, and let's see what else could we do. Clean this up a little bit. Okay, so here's our tests. Uh, here's our code. That's good. Thank you.